Yo, what's up everyone? I'm Fritzy and this is me talking to myself. So, um, I can't promise you that this video is going to be as interesting as the last video where I talk about hitting an old lady with my car. Oh, you should totally check that video out. But I can tell you that this will be a video. Also, I'm going to be having a beer because why the heck not? Um, I did realize that two videos ago I said that I was going to have my last beer, I guess, but then I was in Costco. I think Costco sells beer. So I may as well pick up beer because I need to get groceries and while I'm at the grocery store. Yeah. Anyway, so whatever. Um, <laughs> so I've been at home in kind of a self isolation for about a week. And to be honest, I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I wish I could stay home all the time. So there are, I don't know, I've seen a few videos come out talking about how people should be more positive during this situation. Positive, positive in the sense of, um, you know, focus not on the negatives of who's getting sick and, you know, even who's dying and whatnot. Um, try to take the, or not try, do the precautions that we've been told to take. But while you're at home, do something with yourself. You know, don't just sit there and watch Netflix. I mean, if, if that's the thing that's going to make you super happy for the next while, well, hey, cheers. But if you're hating your life and you have any means of, like you have a laptop, you have a computer, you have a thing, go do something. Go create something. I honestly, like, I'm saying, now, to be fair, I'm saying this in the perspective of somebody who has been wanting to create a YouTube channel, wanting to get my, wanting to get into the, uh, kind of utilize my artistic ability and my creativity in some fashion, some fashion, not even like to my full potential, just doing it to a degree. And because of the work that I have and me not wanting to take on a full career, because again, I'm trying to build some kind of YouTube thing or some kind of creative thing, I'm I'm constantly working at a customer service sort of industry. So I'm spending all my time serving customers, giving them high energy and being like, hey, everybody, how's it going now? And, you know, I, I really can be authentic. I really can, like, help people, you know, feel good about themselves. But by the time I get home, I'm like, fuck. I, like, I honestly have zero energy for anything, and especially this. You know, I do feel a little bit lucky because I was able to set this studio up. So hopefully I could have recorded things on the weekends and, you know, eventually I'll have to go back to work. I, I, I'm i not so naive to think that I'm going to start getting paid for this before this all ends. But this helps pre like propel me into the creative sphere again, if, if you kind of know what I'm saying. It, it helps push me back into that realm of where I, I actually want to be. Um, so I honestly encourage anybody who's sitting at home, you know, you're like, what the hell do I do with my life? Stop reading the news. Like, you know, check the updates if you want to. But, like, don't sit there all day. You know, stop watching Netflix. You know, watch a few episodes of whatever. But go do something, really. Like, I don't know. Again, I'm saying it very much in the perspective of what I like to do. But I, I do think when there are hardships that 
or when there are huge changes or obstacles, that's when a lot of creativity can manifest itself. It can actually build, you know, you, you look at a lot of cities, like poor areas, and you, you look at some of the really great artists, and a lot of the great artists come from these poor areas in these kind of poor cities, or not necessarily poor cities, but areas of the city that are almost neglected. And, you know, like, take this time, especially if you're somebody... I, I get, okay, let me go back for a second. If you're somebody who thrives on just kind of being told what to do with your job and this is the first time this has happened, I do, I, I'm sorry, like that this is kind of a tough situation. Um, I don't have the best recommendation for this type of person if you are that if you're that type of person i don't have the best recommendation for you uh simply because that's not who i am and that's not my experience but i do hope and pray that you find something that works for you but if you're somebody who you're, you're always tired of being told what to do. You're, you're, you don't like your company getting you to do this or that. You know, like I personally, I, oh, I, I go nuts every time I have a boss. It's like I always find something wrong with them because really I just need to be my own boss. I just need to create my own thing. So for me, this is a golden opportunity. And I feel like I've seen some people, a lot of my friends, a lot of people on social media who are talking about who over the years have talked about how they just wish they had some freedom. They wish they could get away from their boss. They wish they could just do whatever they wanted. They want the long weekend. They're always, you know, take this time to like fucking build some shit, make some dumbass videos or just play a bunch of video games or something, but like really dig in, really find what's special I, I feel like the best art comes from the crap situations I truly believe that you know I, I, I remember watching a documentary back in I think my third year of college for film school and it was about the creation of Hollywood and the creation of Hollywood is interesting because I guess films were always or predominantly in the U.S. made in New York. Um, it was a time when people were very prejudiced towards Jewish people. And there was, you know, there's plenty of Jewish people who wanted to make stuff, but they were not allowed. Um, and anything that was portrayed as a Jewish person was making fun of them. It was similar to like blackface kind of deal, but for Jewish people. Anyway sort of the creation of Hollywood is this group of people, this group of Jewish people who wanted to actually build something. And they knew that everybody was discriminating against them. They were racist, whatever. They had no chance where they were. So they took that opportunity to get to the other side of the country where nobody cared about California at the time. Um, so I understood. And all these families created this movie industry and all these names like Fox and uh, MGM Grand, is that what it is? Anyway, all these different studios are actually from original Jewish families. I'd have to look that up because it's been a long time. I'm going off memory, so don't quote me on that, but you know, check it out for yourself. Anyway, it's it's so important to look at these times and be like, hey, what can I actually do? You, this is the first time in your life you have free time. And it's not a vacation. It's not like, oh, we got to make the best of it. We got to like go party as much as we can because who knows the next chance we're going to get this. Who knows the next chance you're going to go back to work? Seriously, who knows the next chance you're going to get back to work? Um, here in Canada, we have a thing called EI, which is called employment insurance. So if we're 
excuse me, if we're laid off, then the government kind of, well, they kind of, they give us you know, that's something like 55% of our income, which isn't like fantastic. But if you're staying at home, you're not going anywhere and we're all isolated. We're, we're not allowed to do anything. So you're not spending money. It's a lot of hiccups. You're not spending any money anyway. So here you are. Um, and the government's doing a lot of other things. They're deferring mortgage payments. Um, I know some provinces are helping with rent. Um, and if you're in the States, I'm hoping uh, your president is helping. I have no comment on that, man. Um, but look for what you're given. Look for the few things that are given to you even though you have everything else taken away from you and 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 look for that opportunity i i i am just like repeating this statement over and over and over again like i have this new stupid video and it's either going to fall flat on its face or it's going to work um and it, it's honestly based on individuals who have not treated this coronavirus pandemic situation seriously uh you know they're they're assholes they're douchebags and so i've created this character on that in just like a kind of a, a one minute less than one minute kind of sketch but it's like i i'm getting the opportunity to do that and the other thing that i get the opportunity to do is well spend time with my wife which is fantastic and spend time with my kid um so if you're at home you know, spend time with your loved ones. If you feel like your last job, you couldn't see your spouse or your kids, use this opportunity to like connect with that person. You know, like personally me, I I honestly, I felt like I have not had enough chance to spend with my wife. And, you know, over the last few months, especially with our kid, you know, like we get to this point where we're on edge with each other. We're, we're, we're kind of like, we're kind of fighting a little bit because she's feeling like she's having to take care of our kid all the time. And she's also frustrated that she doesn't see me, but she also understands that I had to work all the time. And you know, it's, 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 it's tough. And it's, it's, she hasn't really had much of a break, you know, like even just a break of just like sitting down, just like, you know, gaming a little bit or doing something other than, carrying around our child and so for me like the very first day that I was off I just carried him around all day I was like we got to the game Animal Crossing and I was like love you go game you go play Animal Crossing I got this kid and you know we're right now we're kind of taking turns going back and forth but it's like use this opportunity to build the relationships that you have at home like I am so happy this week like <laughs> To be honest, I'm, I don't want to go back to work. I I understand I need to. Um, unfortunately, that's the way the world works. I have to go to work. I have to make money. Blah, 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 blah. But while you are forced to stay home, you are told to stay home and that will save humanity, go fucking stay home. That's all I have to say to you today. It's a big fucking rant. Go make your life awesome. Have a great day. Stay safe. Be healthy. Peace.